Hello, hello, Crafty Man is here, and welcome back to another episode of Rebirth of the Night. So in the last episode, we ended up going to the Nether and discovered that we need Mithril in order to get moving forward within, you know, within the, you know, advancements and all of that. So we are going to be doing that today, but first, let's go ahead. I got the stuff in order to make the reforger or the reforging station. So this this should help us out a lot because some of the stuff, let's see, let's see, it's this one and it's this one. Don't have, yeah, some of the stuff that we really want. So these three things are things that we really want to kind of reforge. So, oh, right, I need, I forgot, I need, I need, let's see, gems. We need diamonds. Let's grab the diamonds from in here. And then we are also going to need, I'm assuming, more of the wither bones. So let's try this. Put diamond in and we reforge it. Ooh, epic. Nice. Okay. That is awesome. So let's see. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So it does not take wither bones in order to fix the wither bone legging. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering what we would end up using. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, wither ash. Let's see. Let's see if maybe that. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, apparently we cannot reforge this at this time. So that is just going to have to do it for right now. And then actually before we get moving, I have levels. So let's get this fixed. Okay, good. That only took three. And then hopefully we find some of the, um, find some of the diamonds down in the beneath as well. So let's go ahead and get this stuff put up and then we could go ahead and put this stuff in here as well. Okay. Awesome. So now we don't have to worry about the lovely skeletons. Oh, and wait, I forgot. We need, we need to make some more of the actual glare torches. So I think I have more torches. I do. I have more torches here. See how much coal do I have? Ooh, sweet. So we can then do, I think it is this. Yes. Okay. So we can make a stack of these. Awesome. And then what do we got? Okay, we do have more stuff to make regular torches. So let's go ahead and head down into the beneath and see if we can't find any mithril. Oop, oop, wait, wait. Uh, I forgot one important thing, and that is some water. And I really, I really need to make some of the powered, the, the actual powered ladders, because this is, yeah, very, very slow going up. Oh, and then also I, I'm starting to move my BWM stuff over here. So, oh, and okay. We have, I forgot. We've got blood. Um, why not? We're going to put the blood right there. That way we can go ahead and grab ourselves some water to take down into the beneath with us. But yeah. So still in the process of moving all that stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of not highlighting it. And then I had also moved the animals down a level. So we've got a whole different level for, for food production and stuff like that. So let's see, we might not need that, but let's do, let's put those there and then let's go ahead and drop down in here and see if we can't find, whoop. Okay. Frozen a little bit up oh, and the health is not working. Hold on a second. All right. That's better. Yeah, that's one of the things I've noticed when you go into the different dimensions, sometimes the uh, the scaling health doesn't work properly. So just, you know, relog, you know, basically close your game down and then bring it back up. But let's go ahead and head down here because one of the requests in my comment section was to kind of show my kamikaze torch technique. So we are going to be we are going to be doing that today so that, you know, kind of show you guys what I do in order to light this stuff up. Ooh, we got redstone up there that I could end up getting, but that is not what we are looking for. So let's see. I think, and actually, do you know what? Let's head over here. Cause I think this was the area that ended up going down a little bit. Um, yeah, it's that section right there. Cause if we get down lower, there's more of a chance of us actually finding some of the, um, finding some of the ores and stuff. So let's head 
Let's head down here, light stuff up as we go. Make sure nothing's spawning. Okay, so far, all right, awesome. All right, so this area, yeah, this area isn't, oh, lovely. Okay, so we got cave spider right up front and a lovely plague zombie. Oh, wow, you've got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of hit points. Oh, and, and, oh my gosh, you guys, oh, ah, okay, lovely. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are bound and determined to, um, kill me. Oh, and I don't have food on the hot bar. Okay, let's, uh, whoop, 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 nope, nope, back off, thank you. Okay, luckily it just poisoned me and didn't, you know, actually, like, yeah, <laughs> make me hungry. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up real quick, and then we can, um, Try to get, kind of get the um, kamikaze torch placing. Ooh, we've got, we've got iron here. So yeah, so all I do is I just, though it doesn't seem like I am running. I might be a little slower. Oh, and there's a, there's a plague. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, these guys. All right. Oh, okay. He fell down. Okay, awesome. So I guess let's deal with this guy first. But yeah, with the kamikaze torch stuff, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, we've got, oh, wow, they're coming from everywhere. It's like somebody, somebody ended up giving an invite to these guys. Dude, back off, please, ow. <laughs> okay, die, thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this is not the, uh, the best weapon down here because yes it does do fire aspect and stuff but it is yeah i'm hearing you oh hungry spider hi mr hungry spider how are you yeah i'm definitely thinking i'm liking my saber better but i want to kind of save up for a mithril saber okay i hear you there you are let's get rid of you oh maybe <laughs> Come on, stop, stop, ow. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. I think, yeah, I think my saber might be a better bet. So let's switch over to that. We'll switch over to that and then let's put this back into the inventory and get, where's, there's my food. I don't have too much of it, but yeah, I definitely seem to be a little bit slower and that might be, oh, sweet. Okay, see? That's the reason why you want the wither stuff. Because now all I have to do is deal with, yeah, the, oop. Deal with the overgrown. And, yeah, because see, he's not, the, the sniper skeleton isn't actually attacking me, which is awesome. So it's just the zombies. Oh. Yeah, the zombies. Oh, would you stop? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> zombies is, and the spiders that I have to worry about. Okay, eh, bet, bet. There we go. Okay, awesome. Let's break that. Though he does seem to have somewhat of a problem. Yeah, he seems to want to attack me. But then, of course, he doesn't. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this guy. Then we don't have to worry about him. Because we've also got these guys. Which are, you know, oh, yeah, which are a pain. And oh my gosh, the health. It's got 120 health. That's just a little bit less than what the uh, the actual like, um, oh, and there's another zombie. What the cell or the Nether Drake had. So, but yeah. So this is this is basically all I do is I just you know go running around. Though I do seem to be a little bit slower in this armor, so I don't know how well this is actually going to work for me, <laughs> running around like this. But we can definitely deal with that. So I am going to continue kind of roaming around and trying to uh, find some of the lovely um, the lovely mithril and then bring you guys back once I find some. So I finally found some mithril. So let's, oh, <laughs> yay, love that sound. <laughs> so the darkness erupts with distant screeches at the last magic barrier shatters. Oh, and of course my inventory is full. All right, there we go. Let's grab up this stuff. Luckily, this is a lot bigger of a vein than I thought it was. Because I just had the two up top. So, yeah. So, yay! Things just got a whole lot harder. Which is going to be fun. But, yeah. 
So we now have mithril. Only 14 pieces, but that should be enough to get us tools and a, sh and a sword. So I'm thinking that I am going to head back. Well, maybe head back to base. Because, yeah, it's... it's oop, fire creeper. Ow. Of course, I don't have any fire protection on me. Because I used all that in the nether. Ow, this really hurts. There we go. But, yeah, so... I am going to go ahead and head back to base as soon as I stop burning and all of that. There we go. And and then we can start getting to work on getting ourselves some mithril stuff. I've got everything smelted up now and relatively put into place. And I realized since we got mithril, we can actually do the true enchanting table as well. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. And let's make the enchanting table first. So let's go ahead, and that's this right here. So the enchanting table upgrade. And so this takes the gold blocks, obsidian, mithril, the enchanting plus book, which is any kind of enchanted book. I used one of my cursed ones for glowstone. And then the knowledge orb, which takes the rune of knowledge and a magic orb. And then this is a rune of soul and the rune of air. So this definitely ended up taking some more materials, but... We are definitely, if we come over here, we are definitely starting to collect some runes. So that is, that is really good. So let's go ahead and craft this up. And there we go. So then with that, we can actually come up here. And there we go. We have a true enchanting table. Awesome. So yeah, so if we ended up, yeah, look at that. So 16%. So I need to double check. I might need to add some more bookcases and stuff to this. And let's see. Whoop, whoop, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Birch. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I need to get some more birch wood. Let's see. Okay, I've got a little bit more birch. And only 20. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna need to get some more birch. So let's go ahead and put this up here. So that means we don't need any more lapis for enchanting. Woohoo! All right, so next step is to make tools. Since we have the true enchanting table, I decided that I want to make two of the, or no, yeah, two of the pickaxes, the mithril ones. So we could go one, we can go two. And then I want to make a Viridian saber. Oop, because I really like my sabers. But yeah. And then, so we got this now. So we got a Viridian Saber. We've got two pickaxes. So the next step is to actually make the Viridian Armor, which is one of my favorite armors in the game because of the speed boost. So we've got the helmet. And then, of course, this is going to end up causing us to get a little bit harder on the game. Oh, and um, let me, let's see, recipe. Let me show you guys this. So I ended up using the Viridian it's the leather straps and padding in order to make the, the plate armor. And then it's just a matter of actually, you know, using it with the viridium. So let's see, we've got the leggings, we've got that. So let's make the chest plate. There we go. And the boots. I am speed. Okay. I did not get, I must have already made one that is considered, yeah, upgraded from here. So let's go ahead and get that on oh my gosh look at that armor and i've got my speed back this actually i think puts me at or beyond what i had ended the last playthrough so we are definitely doing really good now the only thing is is to actually get things um things actually enchanted up and stuff so that is awesome so we've got pickaxes which we can do silk touch and Fortune, so I might end up, because Fortune 3 is the second one, so I might actually be able to get that off. In fact, I can show you guys how this en disenchanter works. Let's go ahead and grab two of those. So basically what you do is you take the item, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed that this actually works and doesn't break the pickaxe. So as you can see, it says efficiency 3, right? So I grab that. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, so it didn't take off too much on that. It'd be really nice if we could actually get all this stuff. Fortune 3. Oh, we might actually be able to get all of it. That will be awesome if we can actually get all of the enchantments off of this. Um, huh. Okay, let's throw that out of the inventory for right now. 
and then we can put that in, and then we can put that in, and voila, and that destroys it. Awesome. So we've actually got all of those off, and so we can end up putting those back onto one of our, let's see, that gives, that's three, that's three, that's six. So let's go ahead and put that on. And then, so both of these were the same. So there we go. We've got our fortune three pick back. Awesome. So uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to get a whole bunch of levels and whatnot in order to start enchaining up this stuff. But we are definitely upgrading our stuff, which is fantastic. In fact, let's go ahead and come up here so I can show you guys the true enchanting table and how it works. So let's see, we want to do silk touch. Yeah, see, it says you need more experience, but I think it also, I need, I think I can get the discount down further. So I'm definitely going to end up having to kind of test that and try to add some more bookcases and stuff and see what I can get the discount down to. But yeah, so I'm super excited. So we are making some progress and we are pretty much at where I had left off in the last playthrough. In fact, probably a little bit further because I didn't have the disenchanting table or, you know, any or, you know, the ancestral infuser or anything like that in the last one. So this makes me super excited. So I'm going to continue working off camera in terms of getting like the base reset up and stuff. And also need to work on getting the hibachis so that we can start working on stuff like the Soul Forge steel and, and whatnot. So I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.